collect a few more coins. Let's get killed by this guy. And the coins go back. And the HUD resets. I'm Xanderwood. I make indie games and tutorials on game development. I also play your indie games every week on my channel. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss a video. So I've got this comment from Secret Erin that says, Hello, can you explain to me how the coins respawn after being dead? Thanks. This is referring to the platform tutorial series that I made. The way it's programmed at the moment is when you collect a coin and die, the coins stay collected. What Secret Aaron wants is for the coins to respawn when you die. And to make this work, we have to go back into the event sheet. If we look in the player death group, we can see that when we die, we call the player death function. If we look at the player death function, we've got an audio loop that plays, then we spawn in some particles, we destroy the player, we wait half a second, we fade out, we wait, and then we spawn particles and respawn the player back in at the beginning of the level, reset the timer and fade in. The first two things here after the audio we can keep because we do want to spawn in the particles and we do want to destroy the player. We can wait 0.5 sec seconds and then we can fade out. Then we don't want to respawn so we can delete that and we can delete that. We don't need to set in-game boolean to true because if we come back up here under initialize we've already done that on start of layout so we can delete that. We also don't need to set the timer to 120 because that's what we do when we initialize. And we don't need to fade in either because at the start of the layout we fade in. We can set the health back to 3 and we can subtract, subtract 1 from the score but we also do need to reset the coin variable. So we can click on add action, we can go to system and we can say set value and we can go coins and we can say zero. So when we die we lose all our coins. That's going to take care of the HUD. So that's going to change this little number here back to zero. What we need to do now is restart the level. So we go into system, we come down and we say restart layout. We're going to put that in here after the one second, but because the fade out function only takes 0.5 seconds, I'm going to change the one second here to 0.5 seconds. Now if we play it, you can see we go back to zero and the coin restarts. The only problem we have is the music restarts because we're not telling the music to stop when we die. So it just keeps overlapping itself, which is what we don't want. So let's take that out. So up here when we say on start of layout and we say play the song looping, we can take that out. So I'm going to control X to delete it or to cut it. And I'm going to come down here to the group that says menu navigation. And I'm going to paste it in right here where we say on left click text. And if I preview the project, when I click start, the music begins. Now when I die and restart the layout, it doesn't restart the music because I'm not clicking on that button. Click a few more coins. Let's get killed by this guy. And the coins go back and the HUD resets. If that was useful, give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you've got any questions, queries, or you're struggling with anything in Construct 3, then do leave me a comment. And if I can solve the issue, then I will solve the issue. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.